Hey everyone, I had a lot of people talking about the fabric picture frame that I showed you in my, I think it was in the room tour video and the things I made video. So I'm going to show you some of the ones that I made that are in the playroom at my mom's house um, that I made. And then I'm going to show you guys how to make them. Okay, this is the first one here at my parents' house. Um, this is just like material from Walmart put in a green picture frame. Um, cotton material. Then these over here are made from a flannel receiving blanket that was cut up and put into these three picture frames. Okay, so what you're going to need to make your fabric picture frame is a pair of scissors, some regular scratch tape, your piece of fabric that's slightly bigger than the frame, and your picture frame, which can be any size that you choose. This is an 8x10 that we're working with today. And the first thing you're going to do is just take the glass out of the frame, and you're going to lay it down on top of your material. Now what you need to decide is if you want to have your material showing so that it's a textured picture or if you want it behind the glass. This is an example of how it is behind the glass. So you can see it's shiny and it's hard because the glass is on there. So this is easy to clean because you just wipe it. This is an example, I can't talk today, of one that's in front of the glass. So it's a textured, you go up and touch it and it's fuzzy. I personally like these better. They might get more dusty and be harder to clean, but I like textures in a room, especially in a baby's room. Um, but I can show you how to do both. Basically, all you're going to do, this is really easy, this is going to be a short tutorial here, is you have your glass laying on top of your... You have your glass laying on top of your material, and you're just going to cut it out, but you're going to do it slightly larger than the piece of glass itself. Now, this would be a lot easier with, like, a rotary cutter and a mat or even fabric scissors. But I'm up at my parents' house today, and I'm just using regular, like, paper scissors. Okay, so we're just cutting this slightly bigger than the piece of glass. So it will look like that. The next thing we're going to do is take our scotch tape and just tape this down around the edges just like you're wrapping a present. Our frame is now all wrapped and taped with the material around it and we're just going to place it back in our picture frame. And put the back of our frame back on. If you want to make, this is how, like, with the the fabric out, this is what we're making now. If you wanted to do one with the glass showing, the only difference is, if you look at the back of this, see how you can see some of the materials, like, sticking out? You would wrap the material around this piece. Like, you'd put it on, whoops put it on and overlap it over these edges. So this would be covered in material and then you would put it in and the glass would be out. But like I said, I like this one better. So we're just going to put the back on this and then we'll be done. Okay, so after putting our um, the back on the frame, we are done. You can feel it. That's textured. You can have it a little puffy like this if we move it around. Or you can make it real tight so that's nice and flat. Mm. The other thing you might want to do is, you can see it's a tiny bit wrinkly from the fabric sitting. Um, so one tip would be to iron the material nice and flat before you put it in the frame. 
But that's it. It's inexpensive. It's cute. If you have, like, um, say you made your own, like, child's bedding or something, you have some extra, you can put this on the wall, and then it'll match and look good together. So that's it for today's little tutorial, and I will see you next time. Bye.